Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love and general situationship that reading session for you, Gemini. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, it's for the Gemini friends out there. Gemini, thank you, thank you very much for coming back. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell and click subscribe. In this reading, um, I think it will fall between now up until next week. I think it would cover also the Christmas, you know. Um, so, Merry Christmas to you, Gemini. Thank you for your amazing support. Thanks for everything that you do in my channel. Thank you. I really, really wish and hope and I'm so inspired that um, my content remains relevant and serve its purpose to you to my audience, to my subscribers. And I really hope this channel grows and inspire more soul. Okay, that's my goal. So thank you for your support. Thanks for everything that you, you do in my channel. And may you really spend your Christmas with, you know, with the closest and the dearest uh, friends and family. Okay, so let's start your reading. This is for you, Gemini. Let's see what's coming towards you. This is a weekly reading. Okay. Uh, in today's reading, we will be looking at your um, your focus, your situation, your person. We'll look at the current energies. We'll look at the challenge in here. We'll predict what's what's coming towards you. What is the updated energy towards your focus, situation, and person? Predictive outcome and advice. And of course, depending on the message for today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading. We'll put that here. Yeah. Okay. So you started off with a six of wands. There is an announcement okay there is an announcement coming from someone very close to you i feel like this is our surprise visit or it's gonna make you happy um something tells me at the end of this month you're gonna get some sort of announcement unannounced like an aha moment okay so for some of you you least expected like you've kind of given up for this like you you've, you've given up already for this call to happen and you know last minute you know before 2021 ends you get this call you get this invitation you get this connection connection it is unannounced and it is and will make you an aha moment it is very beautiful there's an element of femininity here um six of bronze like it's hooray aha you know like here you go i'm here i'm back and I'm back without bitterness. I'm just here to celebrate, to greet you, um, a happy new year, and to connect with you. You know, I feel like it is an ex who you had not so good connection in the past. And here they are telling you, I don't want to end 2021 without saying kind of, you know, happy new year to you and telling you I'm still around. I'm still very much interested to connect with you and explore with you 2022. This is a love reading. There is an Empress card in here and the Sun card in upright position. Well, initially, I feel like you're going to be a bit aloof, surprised. But eventually, guys, you'll take, take off again. This situation will take off again. This is an ex or someone you dated on and off. They've kind of disappointed you. And... um. They don't want to talk about the past. They really want to talk about how have you been? How did you celebrate your Christmas? Because I feel like it's going to fall before New Year or after New Year. Pretty much in the first first two weeks of um, January. So they're going to say hi and hello. Like, you've, you've forgotten this person already. Like, you're so into New Year and they touch base with you. And this person, Sun card, Empress card. This was Switch, okay? Um... And they're telling you, hey, Gemini, is there really a chance for us to be friends? I'm not in a hurry to be in romantic. I feel like, you know, Empress card, this is very feminine, very slow, very supportive, very respectful. I know that I've disappointed you in the past, but I'm here in femininity. A lot of harmony, harmonious energy. Like if you could not, you know, forgive me right away, then at least, you know, sun card, can we be friends? You know, like they're trying to make you laugh. Whoever this person is, they're trying to really, really trying hard to humor you, to make you laugh and to make you feel like 
we can be friends and with friends we can be romantic again with friends we can discover each other again and with friends and talking and laughing and being sweet with one another it could really create moments that would make us forget what took place in the past you know the past that made you disappointed to me so that this is how they catch up with you very interesting energy you're very upbeat you might say no you might be a little bit aloof or grumpy with this person but they're very very persuasive nine of pentacles in the reverse they're very attached to this action ten of swords i'm not walking away because this is you know okay i'm gonna walk away you're 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 big of a problem this is like i know i'm not i'm attached i'm not walking away you might feel over, this person is aware that you might feel overwhelming you might find this as a shock for some of you guys you might find their action their message very confusing but one thing is for sure this person is trying hard their energy their humor sorry there is a noise okay I'm not in the studio. The studio is in renovation upstairs and downstairs. So I am somewhere down the road. <laughs> so going back to your reading Seven of Cups. You might find them, you might find this person a bit upfront. Like they're a bit, you know, what's that English? Like thick. Because part of you is still not able to kind of forget or forgive but part of, part, part of you are ready to move on but their energy it's kind of over the top very humorous like as if nothing happens that's just their groove like don't misunderstand or misinterpret them that's just their groove that's just how they bounce back to wherever you left with you left off with something and they want to bounce back with that and this is their strategy and it's really very swag this is very fun upbeat although they you know for some of you they really did a lot of you know <laughs> the worst energy you could imagine but they're really into a new year vibe and they believe that if they take things new year vibe new ish you know upbeat that they could be you, you could welcome them you're really hopeful the sun card the empress card that you could for if you cannot take them right away because look at the hierophant card i mean look at that you know if you cannot take me to that commitment then can we at least just laugh and be friends and probably date and probably hang out but please please gemini don't don't close your door for me yeah this is a person who's really you know they're nervous this person is nervous as they speak to you if you think they're confident with their move no they're nervous they cover it with lots of like you like in in the communication they keep on talking and talking and talking and talking to kind of forget that they're nervous and to change the top the subject and the topic and to make to really put in your communication in the mood comfortable and you might find them a bit yeah forward up front or you might find them not so considerate about what they did to you but for them if they you know if in, introduce humor jokes and talk about the stories it will make you yeah forget what they did but if you talk to this seriously you know the full card in reverse if you are blunt to this person and you you know you cut them off with their conversation because they're very chirpy yeah it's a person who kind of disappointed you and here they are wanting to connect and very chirpy and happy and you are like quite surprised an aha moment like how can you act like that or how can you talk like that so chirpy so joyful i think you're forgetting what you did so their way their strategy is quite flamboyant and but if you like if you like cut them off from whatever they're talking about and tell them oh okay you think i'm interested like if you give them some sort of sarcasm they would stop the full card in reverse they will explain to you that hey i'm really trying please you know they would even say sorry i'm not being foolish i know what they did you know they're gonna tell you i'm not being i'm not being being foolish i know what i did i know i've disappointed you i'm here really to come up to you and offer you a good vibe you know, I have reflect this person is, is even going to tell, explain to you. Look, I might sound like I'm joking, 
but I have already, I have did a lot of introspection and reflection with regards to you and me. And I'm really here for, you know, for you and to accept me. If not as a lover, something romantic, then as a friend, because they really don't want to lose your side. You mean so much to them in some way that they don't understand. Like this person cannot forget you. you. You mean so much to them in some way that they cannot understand. And they feel like they will only be able to solve this feeling if they connect with you. If they talk to you. If they unravel these feelings with you. They will say sorry, the temperance card. You know. They will, like, if you... If you are sarcastic with this person and you say, cut the chase, what do you really want? They'll tell you, I really would like to connect with you in some romantic level. But if you cannot, then I really would like you to open your door and be friends with me. They would say sorry. They will shift. Like if you challenge them, this person will shift the energy into something meaningful with feelings, apology. They would get there. And when I said that, I saw 11 one, eleven minutes oh one. They would get there. It's just that if they couldn't make or inject some some funny humor, you know, because it's the new year, they will stick to that. There is love. There is still love. Strong. Yeah. There is still love with this person. And they feel like, you know, you still love them somehow. Deep, deep inside of you is a love that, um, you know, with them it can be woke. You know, they're full of optimistic and hope. Like with them, I will take it even as a friend, you know. Because I know if you if we talk, we will connect and we will get there, Gemini. That's how promising it is for them. They will be very persistent and very patient. Like if you ignore them, they will come back. They will come back and they will come back. Until your, I don't know, the shade, the darkness is lifted. Temperance card, they will come back. They will be very patient. Get ready. This is one of your first exciting part of like this is your first customer love energy of 2022 <laughs> and um that is me thank you so much gemini let me just put it this way there thank you gemini it is a pleasure doing the reading to you guys i hope you like the reading and i hope to see you soon wherever you are right now Merry Christmas and advance Happy New Year. It's a pleasure doing the Gemini energy. And I'll see you soon again, guys. Bye-bye.